As far as where to put your speakers and so on, the best thing that you can do is to get the cones aligned pretty much with your your ears. You want them to be firing directly at you because if you're above or below, it's going to change the way that you perceive the sound a little bit and we want as direct a sound as possible. Turn off any EQ settings that you have, any tone, bass and treble and so on, on your hi-fi if that's what you've got. Um, and if you possibly can, angle the speakers so that you are in a triangle with the speakers, more or less equidistant between you, your ear, speaker, you, your ear, speaker, and speaker and speaker. Um, for the majority of cases, you want to be around, I guess, a metre on each side of that triangle. If you get too much more than that, then you're going to end up not hearing as direct a sound as you could. And if you're too close, it's just not going to sound quite right. Uh, ideally, the speakers want to be a little bit away from the wall so that they don't boom a little bit. You can test out if you put your speaker very near a wall, the bass will feel more boomy. And if you pull it away, it will start to sound more clear and natural. But these are all ideal scenarios. If you've got a really terrible pokey room that you can't afford to change anything around in and kind of, you've got no space to spare, then you just make do. Um, as you can see around this, the studio, um, I've got some foam up on the wall. Now, it's good to have some sound isolation and some, well, it's mainly sound damping. The sound reflects off flat surfaces. And if you can stop the sound reflecting um, in a very uniform way, you'll prevent what's called standing waves. And standing waves are, it's a phenomenon where as the waves of sound bounce all around a room, um, the best thing you can hope for is that there is no point at which uh, that wave or any particular frequency becomes still, so to speak. You don't want to have any part of the room where something always sounds the same. Sound should always be bouncing off unpredictably. Otherwise, you're going to get a coloration in the sound that's going to be unique to that room and you don't really want that. Um, but you can't, you can't fix everything unless you've got a purpose-built studio and we're making music at home. So just don't worry too much. Um, you'll never get pro studio quality. You'll get great home studio quality from our guide, but unless you're spending thousands and thousands of pounds, there's no point in wishing shoulda, woulda, coulda. Um, and that's why headphones are a great way to, uh, to mitigate an imperfect room, because if you can do both, especially, you'll have the best of both worlds.